What's up family, TJ Millionaire Mentor back. And look, I know I'm always talking about cars and dropping knowledge and stuff, but today, look, I'm not talking about a car, I'm not talking about a truck, I'm talking about a van. <laughs> So look, today we have the Sprinter. It's like a 2019 Sprinter. And you know, I have people that use these things all the time, but I never have. I've never used a Sprinter. But here's what's happening. It's COVID-19, so it's been a weird year. My daughter is a senior in high school, and she's going off to college, and she's going to college in London. So her friends are all gonna go to college in different places, right? And I think she got a couple that may not go to college at all. But you know, here's the thing. They're all gonna like disperse and be in different places. So what we're doing is we're celebrating her and having her celebrate with her friends the end of the year, COVID, and you know, she missed out on a lot of the senior activities. So she's getting some of that stuff made up here, right? So we're gonna go pick her up and we're gonna surprise her in a sprinter. But before I do, before I do, let me show you what's up with the Sprinter because it's pretty damn cool. Come check it out. Come on in. This thing is pretty damn cool. Here you have captain chairs here and this is where you control everything. And so you control everything right here. And it's kind of cool because you have like uh, where you can control the PlayStation, you can control the TV in back, you can control the different colors. I mean, you can go from right now, I have the blue color. I can go to the red color like this. I can make it, I don't know, no color. I can make it green. I don't know, I think my favorite color might be red though. So let's see if we do red. Yeah, we're going like full disco. <laughs> Full disco with red. The sound system is amazing here. You have a PlayStation right here so you can get it in. Right here, we got NBA 2K. Now what else? Ha <laughs> ha, Grand Theft. I don't know, I think I live this life. <laughs> right here, you know, you can do that. You have plenty of places to store your drinks. Yeah, you got even like, you got a refrigerator back here. I'm thinking this thing is pretty cool, man. So like, how many, how many people can sit in there? I think we got like two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can get nine people in here. You probably get 10 if you press it, right? And then you even have this partition that you can close so that you can't see the driver and the driver can't see in the back. And you got two TVs. You got a TV right here, and then you got one in the back. And then you have these shades if you want privacy. So even if you want more privacy, you can just like pull these down. So I don't know, man. This is like the ultimate little transportation vehicle slash party bus slash limo slash you know i don't feel like driving slash i got my crew with me honestly who knew i never knew they were so damn cool so we're about to go pick up her and her friends, but here's a problem, right? Because the Sprinter only gonna carry about eight people. So we need some other vehicles to go carry luggage. So what are we taking? Boom! We taking the Dawn, JJ helping out. We're gonna take the Eurus, you know? Hey, so look, that's what's up. So we're about to go on this airport run. Come along, man, it's gonna be fun.
Like it will happen. Oh, yeah. I'm not So we just picked up the girls, we're on our way back to the crib. And so my baby has never seen the new crib. So hopefully they're gonna have an amazing weekend. We've done everything we can to make this an amazing weekend. We know it's been a tough year for them because of COVID-19. So this just should be fun. Stay tuned. Feel it in my body. Feel it in my feet. And it feels so good inside. When I hear that music, it gets me on my feet. Makes me wanna dance all night. Don't make me remember everything. Yeah, I'm trying to make this weekend special for her. You know, it's all about making, you know, like, you gotta support your family, right? And take care of it. And you do anything in the world for your kids. But you make sure that they understand how blessed they are and how fortunate they are. Uh, but you also make sure that they work really hard. The funny thing is, is, you know, I hear people say all the time, you know, like uh, the Gary V's of the world, who uh, I respect a lot. And I hear Grant Cordain, who I also respect a lot. But I'll hear people say things like, you know, do what makes you happy, right? Do whatever you want, you know. If, if it doesn't make you happy, don't do it. And I think that's cool for some people, and I think some people can, can have that sort of life and that experience, but that doesn't work for everybody. Some people don't have the safety net. They don't have, they don't come from a background where they can indeed do whatever they want. Those people have to secure the bag first. They have to make sure that they'll have security and be able to make the kind of money that's gonna support their life while they go off and do the type of things that they want, right? Or figure out how to get to the type of things that they want. But sometimes you can't do the things you want. But I think for a lot of you guys that are parents or soon will be parents, you know, the thing about you guys, man, what we're supposed to do is make it easier for the next generation, man, so that they can, in fact, do what they love. Give them enough room so that they can do the things that they love to do. You know, one of my biggest goals has been to make life easier for my kids than it's been for me. You know, I grew up in a very, very tough situation, so I want to make sure my kids don't have it as tough as I do. I think that's everybody's goal. That's everybody's dream, right? And in order to do that, you got to get very, very focused, <laughs> you know, secure your own damn bag, right? And uh, make sure you're doing the things that you need to do so that you can build the wealth that you want to build. And for those of you that are making decisions around college or not, no, you don't have to go to college to be successful, but you do have to secure your bag. So it's about, here's something I want to do. Here's something I'm good at. Here's something that the market will pay me for. Once you merge those things, you're hitting a home run. But sometimes you have to only pick two, right? The market will pay me for this and I'm good at it, right? I don't necessarily like it, but I'm good at it. Some of you guys are picking, hey, I love doing it. I'm good at it. The market won't pay me for it. Now, if the market won't pay you for it, as long as you have a safety net, as long as you got your parents, you got some support, you saved some money, you've done whatever it is to, to be able to live that life, then it's okay. But if you haven't gotten that kind of support, right, then you need to make sure that you pick the one that includes making enough money to support your life. So guys, thanks for watching. Comment, let me know what you think about the Sprinter. And also let me know if you've secured your bag or you're in the process, if you're in the process securing your bag and if you're doing what you love or not. Have you picked two? Which two have you picked? Let me know. All right, peace.